Hello, land seekers. If you're looking for land, guess what? You're in the right place. Why? Because I have almost 70 properties, all with seller financing. What does that mean? That means that you can invest in the land that you see here on this video without needing to run down to the bank and qualify for a loan or any of that other stuff. Nope, you don't have to do it. I'm Scott from LandMoto.com, and this channel is about helping you to make your land ownership dreams a reality. So you can start living those dreams today. You don't need to put them off yet another day. Now, just as a reminder, all of the properties that I'm gonna share with you tonight are available on our website, landmoto.com. What is Landmoto? Well, not only is it the name of this channel, but it's also a land listing platform that connects you directly to the sellers of these properties who are offering these properties with owner financing. What is owner financing, people ask? Well, owner financing is sometimes called seller financing, and that means that instead of having to go to the bank and, and have credit checks and background checks and employment checks and hassles, you don't have to do that. All you got to do is contact the seller that, of the property that you see here tonight that you're interested in buying. Hey, how does this owner financing work? They'll explain it to you, and you are approved. That's it. Now, all of the properties that you're going to see here tonight have low down payments, affordable monthly payments. And as we go through the video tonight, I might talk about different buckets. And you know what? I'll share those buckets uh, as as we go through there. I'll kind of explain them. If, you, if you're new here, welcome. But then some of you are like, yo, what states are we going to cover tonight? I've got to look for the button. What states are we covering tonight? I think I got the right button here. It, nope, that's not the right button. There you go. <laughs> I knew I had the wrong button. These buttons, if you could see my panel, I've got hundreds of buttons over here. I don't even know what they all do. But look, here's here's what we got. Okay, we've got properties in Arkansas, Arizona, California, Colorado, Florida, New Mexico, Nevada, Oregon, Texas. Do we have Oregon? We do have Oregon. All right, Texas, Washington, and I have Tennessee at the bottom. Why? And I got an asterisk next to it. I'm going to give you an update on Tennessee because I got some cool stuff coming for you in Tennessee, but you got to hang on to the end of the video. All right. Now, all of these properties that I'm going to show you tonight, they're all available right here, landmoto.com forward slash deals. You can always see the most updated deals on there. And without further ado, what I want to do is I want to jump into these properties and we can start going through them because we have a ton of them to go through. So up first is this property right here. And it's this one. We have a, a half acre property in uh, the Horseshoe Bend area of Izzard County, Arkansas. Asking price on this one is $7,000. Check it out. Check it out. Zero dollars down. That's right. Sometimes people will say to me, Scott, you can't, you cannot buy land for zero down. You know, it's not possible. Well, it is possible. And here's just one example. And you're going to see a bunch of the examples here tonight. But yeah, you can do it right here with a monthly payment of $200 a month. Uh, for a total term of 35 months. So in 35 months, you own this thing free and clear. Uh, Want to learn more about it? Well, there's a QR code down there that you can scan with your phone, iPad, tablet, whatever you got. Otherwise, you can go to elmoto.ws forward slash 203889. That's the number right there. Now, here's the deal. I'd love to give you more information on these properties, taxes, zoning, and all the other stuff. We just don't have time. We don't have time. We have almost 70 properties to go through tonight. And if I did that, man, this video would be forever. Don't sweat it. If you're interested in this particular property or another one that you see, head over to the website, check it out. You'll be able to connect with the seller right there. Just a few buttons away, send them a message, say, hey, I saw it on Landmoto, and you're off to the races. It's just that simple. It really is. All right, let's go to our next property tonight. Next up is, uh, well, it's this one right here. This one's in uh, Van Buren, Arkansas. It's a 0.43 acre property. Check this out. For You get almost a half acre property, okay, half, almost a half acre, for a grand total of $3,000. That doesn't make it, it's like, it's like crazy affordable over there in Van Buren, Arkansas. And when, when you get to Florida, you're going to, like, when we get to Florida, you're going to be like, dude, 
I want the uh, I want the Arkansas prices in Florida. They don't exist. I'm just warning you right now. I'm kind of I'm kind of giving you a spoiler right now. It doesn't happen in Florida. You're looking for some cheap land. Well, I'm going to cover it right here. There you go. Three thousand dollars for almost a half acre of land, with one ninety nine down. Seriously, a hundred and ninety nine dollars down and one forty a month for twenty months. Think about that. In less than two years, you can own this property free and clear, and it has easy road access, power in the area. Come on. Learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 203274. Let's move on to our next property. This one up. Oh, you know what? I didn't mean to do that because I had to change states. Huh. I only had two in Arkansas. I have two in Arkansas. I thought I had three in Arkansas, but nonetheless, here we go. We're going to go over to our, uh, Arizona now. And here we go. Up next in Arizona is this property right here. This is a one acre property in Apache, Arizona, one acre, $6,500 is the asking price for one acre with $100 down and 160 a month for 40 months. There you go. This is great bucket, bucket. Uh, well, let's see. It's going to be a great bucket. Uh, well, let's, let's go through the buckets real fast. Okay. Bucket one, you're looking for a place to live today. This probably is not it unless you're looking for something off the grid. Seriously, like that's not it. Uh, bucket two, you're looking for something long term, you know, like three to five years. Uh, you're thinking about where you're going to move to. This probably is not a bucket two property unless you're looking for off the grid. OK, if that's what you're looking for off the grid, sustainable living, no problem. You got it. Bucket three. What is bucket three? Well, bucket three is you're looking for some land for recreational purposes, camping, ATV riding, horseback riding, uh, any of that fun stuff that you want to do out on the land. You want to have your own land for, for just any purpose. Here you go. This is a great bucket three property. Bucket four. Here's the reality. They don't make land anymore. Some people will say that they do. They do not. I know volcanoes are always making more land, but not in the continental United States. They're not doesn't happen like that, guys. Okay, so they're not making more land. So land in a bucket four investor, if that's you, you're looking and you realize that land is only going to go up in value. When was the best time to buy land? 20 years ago. When's the second best time? Today. That's it. That's just clear and simple. So if you're a bucket three, bucket four uh, investor, this is a great property for you. Learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 188703. Staying in Apache County here, nestled with the trees and elevated views of the valley. This 1.16 acre property, asking price on it is $5,500. Again, zero down. Wow, zero down. $136 a month for 48 months. Yeah, you can learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 192545. We really didn't talk about this at all. And it's been a while, so I want to talk about it again. Here it is. On the bottom of the screens, like you see, like I just showed you, bring it up again. There you go. The bottom of the screen where it says learn more, that is a short code. It's not the full website. So if you just go to elmoto.ws, you're going to run into a roadblock, a dead end. You're going to say, oh, it doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work because you have to have the numbers after it. That's why you should write that down. Take a screenshot of this thing or just scan the QR code on the bottom to take you right to the property. I'm trying to make it easy for you. Here's a 4.63 acre property, 4.63 acres. Uh, this one is in Apache. Asking price on this one is 11,500 with 180 down and 180 a month for 73 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 204377. Here we go. What about a two acre property, semi forested two acre property? That's not a bad view right there. Two acres, 13,500, but forget that for a minute. Let's look at the down payment, 249 a month uh, and 249 down for a total of 72 months. This thing is all yours. Man, you got to check out this one elmoto.ws forward slash 195852. That's 195852. Here we go. We're moving on to a, a Apache County. Another one in Apache County, I should say. This one is a quarter acre property. Asking price on this one is going to be a uh, 60, let's see, 69.53 with 275 down and 93 a month for 72 months. Yeah, this one's different. You need to go check out why it's different. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you why it's different. I want you to go check it out. 
I'm gonna leave it on the screen just a little bit longer. You can see it's different. Go check it out, elmoto.ws forward slash 203978 and go see what's different and see if it's a good fit for you. Staying in Apache, we have another one acre property. This one asking price. Look at the asking price, guys. That's $2,375. For less than $2,400, this one's all yours, but you don't have $2,400 $2, hanging around today? No problem. No problem at all. Because guess what? You can make a down payment of $80 down today and $99 a month for 36 months. And this thing is all yours. Elmoto.ws forward slash 203-225. That's 203-225. What about a five acre property? You're like, I want something bigger. Well, okay, here you go. Here's five acres. This one's near Concho. All right. This one is asking price of this one is $18,000 with $500 down. Look at the percentage of the down payment to the cash price. You, you, can't, you can't even get a bank loan. First of all, the bank doesn't want to loan you money on this because they don't want to do a mortgage for $18,000. They, they want it higher than that. They don't want to, they don't want to waste their time. Okay, but then if you did, if they did give you a loan, if they did give you a loan, they'd say, hey, yeah, it's $18,000. Well, you got to pop down $3,600 minimum today. 20%, that's the way it's going to work. Okay, so if you have $3,600 laying around, no problem. Well, then maybe you can go ask your bank, but the bank's going to be like, we don't loan that low of a dollar amount on a mortgage. They want fifty to $75,000 minimum. Don't trust me, call the bank. They'll tell you. They'll tell you, I've seen it for years. They just don't do it. Okay, so here we have five, $500 down. That's like what, like 2% or something? I don't know. With a down, pay, a down payment of 500 with a monthly payment of $360 for 50 months? Yeah, come on. You got to check this out. Elmoto.ws forward slash 203251. All right, we're going over to Cochise County, Arizona. Here we have almost a one acre property. This is a 0.826 acre property. Uh, yeah, here we go. Ready for your tiny home. Asking price on this one for the entire lot is $4,400 with $249 down and $100 a month for 44 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 204066. Uh, okay, let's see. What do we have next? We have a well, my computer's not working. There we go. We have a 2.6 acre property in Cochise with mineral rights included, the headline says. All right, if you're a mineral, mineral rights person, check this one out. 2.6 acres, $7,000 with $20, uh, yeah, $20 down. Wow, $20 down. And 144 a month for, seven, uh, for 48 months. $20 down, 144 a month for 48 months. I'm stumbling over the fact that it says mineral rights because I, I rarely see those, but okay. All right. Here we go. For 48 months, check out, check this one out. Head over to elmoto.ws forward slash 203-995 and uh, talk to Paul. Paul's the owner of this property. And uh, yeah, go, go see what he has to say. Ask him. Ask him about it. Ask him to tell you the details, man. It's all in the details. But let's go over to Coconino, Arizona. Okay, where's this one? This one's going to be over by the Grand Canyon. South, southern rim of the Grand Canyon. You come straight down. That's where it is. Grand Canyon. You want to be close to the Grand Canyon? This is it. This is it. It's insane. Okay, it really is. All right, here we go. Uh, Coco, Coconino, Arizona is a uh, 2.27 acre property. Cash price on this one is $14,993 with $325 down and $199 a month for 85 months. You can learn more about this one by heading over to elmoto.ws forward slash 204413. Changing counties now. We're heading over to Mojave, Arizona. Mojave, Arizona. And here we go. We have a uh, 2.35 acre property. Another bucket three, bucket four investment right here. Cash price on this one is $7,500 with $199 down and $135 a month for 55 months. Yeah, you can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 198380. Yeah, that's what you can do right there. There you go. All right, staying in Mojave, we have a one-acre property in Mojave, $6,500 with $149 down 
and 149 a month for 42 months bucket three bucket four property unless you're looking for something off the grid if you are this is it learn more about this one by going to elmodo.ws forward slash 204 212 people say where's mojave county well it's uh it's in the western northwestern portion of arizona guess what's right guess what it's right below the hoover dam las vegas you're right there in that little metro area there so check this out check it out okay all right moving on to another property here in mojave county this one is a one uh one acre property Asking price on this one is $7,900 with $99 down and $200 a month for 40 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmodo.ws forward slash 201459. Okay, 201495. All right, our next property. This next one stays in Mojave, but it's 16 minutes west of Kingman. It's a three-acre property. Asking price on this one is twelve thousand five hundred, with two ten down and two ten a month for sixty two months. Yeah, you can learn more about this one by going over to elmodo.ws forward slash. Uh, let's see, two zero four one five seven. Here we go. We have a two and a half acre property with road access, uh, with twelve hundred acres of BLM land. Let's talk about that. You'll notice in the lower left corner of the picture here. It says BLM land. What is that? Well, that is Bureau of Land Management. As Cousin Eddie says in one of my favorite movies, Vegas Vacation, as Cousin Eddie says, it's government land. So you know they're never going to build out there. So what does that mean? It means that when you own this property, basically your next door neighbor is the United States government with 1,200 acres of public land there that they'll never build on. It's basically secured land. So that means that you get to enjoy it as a United States citizen, taxpayer, etc. You get to enjoy that land. You can camp on that land. You can uh, ATV ride across that land. It's your land. Like the old song, it's your land. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that you basically have your two and a half acre property, but then you have access to another 1,200 acres all around you? Gosh, man, how much is this property? Oh yeah, here you go. $6,500 with 200 down and 200 a month for 40 months. Learn more about this one by heading over to elmodo.ws forward slash 190794 or just hit that QR code. There you go. All right, we're staying in Mojave. Staying there. I know we're coming to an end of Arizona. We have to be. All right, we have a property here. This one is a two and a uh, third acre, so 2.35 acres. Asking price on this one is $73.50 with 200 down and 200 a month for 52 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmodo.ws forward slash 204392. 204392. Staying in Mojave, here you go. You have a one-acre property. It's secluded. Oh, yeah, it's secluded. You're out there. I'm telling you. You're out there. You, you want no one to bother you. Well, no one's going to bother you. No one's going to find you. That's it. Asking price on this one is $10,000. Okay, $9,999. With $749 down and $199 a month for 48 months. Yeah, you can learn more about this one by going to elmodo.ws forward slash 204198. That's 204198. What about starting a family farm? Here you go, family farm on this 4.6 acre property in Mojave, 13,998 with 400 down and 239 a month for how much? For 60 months. You can learn more about this one by contacting Matt over at elmodo.ws forward slash 203-462. Matt's the owner of this property and he'll give you all of the details. All right, here we go. Two acre property in Golden Valley, another two acre property. This one's uh, 4,995 with 250 down and 120 a month for 48 months. Yeah, okay. Bucket three, bucket four, uh, unless you're off the grid. There might be power close by too. You can see some power poles in that picture. Contact the seller and check that detail out if that's important to you. Learn more about it by going to elmodo.ws forward slash 204350. Staying in Mojave, this one, it says go green. They must be talking about the Green Bay Packers. 
<laughs> just kidding just kidding all right go green uh 2.14 acre property twelve thousand dollars with 200 down and 200 a month for 60 months you can contact ryan who's the seller of this property head over to elmoto.ws forward slash 182525 and check out the details here we go stand in moabi another two acre property 38.99 38.99 uh, asking price on this one is uh, two fifty one down and ninety nine dollars a month for sixty months. Yeah, you can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash two zero four three five seven. Look, here's the thing. Here, here's an interesting dynamic that I hope that you're picking up on. Not every property is the same. They're they're just not the same. Okay, like they they offer different things. They're in different areas of a county. So when I talk about Mojave County, I'm saying, hey, this one's in this area of Mojave. But these counties are big. They're not, these properties are not side by side each other. These properties are big. These counties are big. So they each offer something different and unique. Take, for example, take, for example, this property right here. All right, let me bring it back up again. Okay, so this is the one I just said to contact Ryan. Okay, so here you have a 2.14 acre property. Asking price on this one is $12,000. Let's just stop right there. $12,000. Okay. So we have this property with an asking price of $12,000. And then what happens is what's different? That's what you should be asking yourself. And that's what I ask myself when I look at these properties. I like to compare and contrast them. Why is this property worth $12,000? And then the very next property that we see, this one worth, you know, almost $4,000. That's that's a big price difference for both of them for two acre properties. Well, the difference is going to lie, the, the answer to that is going to lie within where that property is located in the county. Because some areas of a county are more expensive than others. Think about your own county. You know, the prices of land are not the same across the entire county. They're this area is more expensive than the other area. So you kind of have to go through that process to understand like why. And while I'm all about like affordable land, I think it's important that you match that up to the details of what you're looking for. Which of those buckets? And I talked about the buckets a little bit ago, but which of those buckets do you fall into? Because that $12,000 property, it may have something that I'm not covering here on this video. Like maybe it has power. Maybe it's close to power where this one that you just saw for, you know, less than nine is in a different part of the county where it's more remote. So this is what you kind of have to do when you've decided that you are interested in a particular county or a particular area. Dig in a little bit. Read the details. Talk to these sellers. And the best way to talk to them is to go to landmoto.com. Look at the property. There's a big green button that says contact the seller and contact them and start having those conversations. Compare and contrast and then choose the right property for you guys. But I'll tell you, it it does uh, make me smile whenever I see the messages from you guys that say, hey, I bought a property. I bought my first property. I bought another property. I, I My team brings these to me and I'm glad to be able to bring this back to you. So we're going to keep moving on. Just kind of give you a little helpful tip on there. OK, so here's a, a 0.11 acre property. Asking price on this one is twelve thousand four fifty. Here's another great example. See, this is exactly what I was trying to ex explain too. Is this is a property with city utilities? It's a city lot. It's smaller, so it's twelve thousand four fifty. But you're now going to have city utilities. This property is in Kingman, the city of Kingman. So yeah, you want to reach out to them and check it out and see if this is a good fit for you. Because if you're looking for, I mean, if you're looking for something with utilities already in place, here you go. Check it out, elmoto.ws forward slash 204265. Staying in Mojave, here we have, it says zero acres. I think there's a typo there. I'm not sure why it would say zero acres, but it does. Here we have a, a cash price on this one of, so clearly there's a clearly there's a disconnect. I think this is Brian, Brian's property. I'm going to I'm going to kill a little bit of time here. What I want to do is I just want to say something, right? Like, cause I know that that's not right. I know it's not zero acres. So I'm just tap dancing a little bit until I can come and I'm actually going to pull up this particular property cause I want to give it a fair shake here. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah, it's a 2.2 acre property here. Let, let's, let's look at the view on land moto itself. There we go. 
it's in place now. Here we go. So here we have a 2.2 acre property. All right. So that's kind of what we were talking about. The asking price on this one is uh, 299 down and $99 a month. Now you might say, Scott, why does that say 120 a month when you just told me $99 a month, right? Well, it looks like they've changed their pricing just for this video. So it's telling you right here that it's, you know, the $99 a month. So they've just adjusted their price a little bit, but they didn't adjust the headline. That's okay. It's okay. This thing is, uh, I'm not sure when all that happened, but we moved pretty quickly. And again, here's a great example of how you can get all the details of the property simply by going to the website. And then what do you do? Uh, click this green button right there. Put in your information. You'll be con connected directly to Brian and his team, and they'll be happy to help you and give you all of the details. I think it's Brian. I'm pretty sure it is. I could be wrong. And if Brian, if I'm wrong, don't, don't, don't kill me. <sighs> I got a tap dance up here. It's the way it goes, right? It's the way it goes. All right, we're moving on to Navajo County, Arizona. Navajo, here we have a quarter acre lot. Okay, it's a third of an acre. Third of an acre for $2,500. With 100 down and 100 a month for 24 months, that's zero interest, by the way. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 191288. That's 191288. Okay, here we go. Staying in, Moha uh, staying in Navajo now. Here we have a one and a quarter acre property. This one is $3,000. Okay, it's $29.95. $29.99. $29.99 with $99 down and $99 a month for 36 months. You can check out this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 204053. You want bigger. You're like, I'm tired of these smaller lots, man. Give it to me big. Here you go. Here's a 10 acre property also in Navajo. Asking price on this one is, uh, well, it's $10,000. I'm going to round it with $195 down and $195 a month for 60 months. Check that out. It's close to the Route 66. You can get your kicks on this property. Head over to elmoto.ws forward slash 203530. What about a two and a half acre property in Navajo? Yep, I got it right here. Two and a half acres, $5,400 with 349 down and 139 a month for 42 months. What do you do? Learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 204455. We are done with Arizona. Done. You're like, man, is this all this guy's talking about is Arizona? It's not. It's not all I'm talking about because I got all these other states to go. So we're finished Arizona. We're going to California next. California. Eh? <sighs> I'm supposed to be in California in a few weeks. Hmm. We're meeting out there. Hmm. Hopefully I don't get any snow. It's in Southern California. It's snowing there. It's insane. All right, here we go. We do. Here we go. Going over to Modoc County, Arizona. Modoc, okay. Experience a better and more friendly uh, playground than Disney. Uh, I agree. It's definitely, definitely more budget friendly than Disney. I mean, this is like a think about that. You probably instead of taking your family to Disney for I don't know a week, you could buy this property outright and save save your money. Here you go. So one one point four five acre property. Asking price on this one is eighty eight sixteen. With 500 down and 145 a month for 40 months, yeah, you can learn more about this one. You can contact the 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 seller. Her name is Brittany. Brittany would be happy to give you all the details by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 203-810. There you go. Staying in Modoc County. Here we have a Modoc County property, a 1.28 acre property. Asking price on this one is $7,900 with 300 down and 190 a month for uh, 60 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 204141. We're done with California. See how quickly we breeze through that thing? Yeah, here you go. Now we're moving on to Colorado. Okay, heading over to Colorado. And what do we have in Colorado? Well, we have this 1.23 acre property in Costilla. Asking price on this one is $98.99 with $159 down and $159 a month for 62 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 204408. 
All right, what about a camping property of five acres? Yeah, we got it, five acres. I'm not so sure about the camping property because this county doesn't love it when you camp. So be careful with that one. I don't really, I don't like that uh, headline there to be honest. But uh, yeah, this county is not a camping county. <laughs> not a camping county, guys. Just telling, you, just just for clarity and, and uh, clarification here. But anyway, you can learn more about this five-acre property by going over to uh, well, the asking price of the five-acre property first is is uh, fifty-nine ninety-five with. 499 down and 107 a month for 72 months. All right, now you can learn more about it by going over to elmoto.ws forward slash four uh, two zero four zero eight zero. Austin is the owner of this one, so you might just want to double check on that uh, and just check all the details. Here you go, five acre property also in Costilla. Put put that tax refund to work. Yeah, yeah. Buy a treed five acre property. I agree. What's the asking price on this one? Oh man, that's a this is in a great area of Costilla as well. Asking price on this one is eighteen thousand nine hundred with seven fifty down and three ten a month for sixty five months. Yeah, learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash one nine nine six zero five one nine nine six zero five. What about a corner lot? Okay, I think it's saying corner. Uh, I'm assuming that's a corner lot. Corner lot with a great mountain view. Drone video of the property is available. All right. Joel has a drone property of the uh, drone video of the property. Yeah, you'll want to check that one out. Asking price of this five acre property is uh, $81.99 with $399 down and $150 a month for 60 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 203431. That's where you'll contact Joel if the video is not on the website for the see the drone video. Check it out. See it with your own two eyes. Show your family. Say, we're going to do this thing. We're going to make the investment. I'm telling you, five acres. Costilla is a, it's a great area. It really is. It's affordable. It's an affordable part of, uh, of uh, Colorado. You get that million-dollar views without that million-dollar price. That's all I got to say. All right, let's move on. If you don't like neighbors, this property is not for you, is what it says. Okay. Well, there you go. They're they're telling you if you if you don't want neighbors, well, don't don't contact them, because I guess they're, they're saying that that they have neighbors out there. But look, it's a five acre property. It's five acres. Asking price on this one is is just less than eight thousand dollars, with zero down and one forty nine a month for fifty nine months. Learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash Six one two three nine. All right. What about this one? Twenty five acres. Oh yeah, twenty five acres. You know the old song. You like big lots and you cannot lie. Yeah, you know that song, right? I'd sing it, but I don't want to get a copyright infringement on YouTube. You know, I don't like that stuff. The twenty five acres. Check it out. Less than fifty thousand dollars. Seriously, that's a good price too. Forty-seven thousand nine ninety-five. You're not too far from the Rio Grande River. Down payment on this one is less than two thousand dollars, with seven ninety-five a month for seventy-two months. I would check it out. Elmoto.ws forward slash two zero three three seven two. I paused for a minute because I, I was just thinking that some some of you might might be thinking like, man, I want this property. <laughs> Maybe you want this property, right? Like maybe you liked it. It's 25 acres after all. And, you know, maybe you can afford the down payment. No problem. But then you look at that monthly payment and you're like, eek. I get it. I understand it. I mean, I look at things too and they, I see the asking price of things for the monthly payment. I'm like, eek. I don't know. I got the down payment, man, but I may not have the monthly payment. And that's what I love about working with these sellers is that because you're working with the seller, and you have access to them. And the seller of this property, her name is Nikki. Okay, she's a human. You can reach out to Nikki and say, hey, I like the property, but maybe the monthly payment's too high. Or maybe the down payment's too high, right? Like whatever it is. But you can talk to Nikki because she's not a bank. She's not a big company. She's a person. You can reach out to them. And that's what I love about this channel. I like That's what I love about our website and our community is the fact that these are just people. They're here to help you. They can they can work with you. So if that down payment is a little little stretchy, no problem. I'm not guaranteeing you that she can do anything. 
I'm just saying that maybe she can work with you or maybe the monthly payment at almost $800 a month is a little steep for you. That doesn't mean that she can't, shouldn't, couldn't go out a couple more years. And if she went out a couple more years, that the monthly payment would come down. Talk to her. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is don't, don't eliminate yourself from this. And that's how you're going to be able to live your, your goals today and your dreams today is just reach out to these people and say, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I can do. And I'm sure that some magic will happen and bam, you start living your dreams today, baby. That's what it's all about. Ah, moving on, going back, going back to the next property. Here's a five acre property. Here we go. Five acres in Costilla. Asking price on this one is $9,900 with 300 down and 200 a month for 48 months. Yeah. You can learn more about this one by going over to elmoto.ws forward slash 203. Six, I'm sorry, 203-862. That's 203-862. All right, just what the doctor ordered. Did he? I'm sure he did. He did. Five acres close to the mountains. There you go, five acres with some mountain views in, in Costilla. Asking price on this one is $13,000 with 500 down and 300 a month for 72 months. You got you to take action on it. Learn more by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 201204. What about, what about uh, up, up, in the, up in the hills a little bit? Yeah, where the elk and the moose and the deer roam. Isn't there a song like that? Actually, it's where the deer and the antelope roam. They should have put that in the headline. Who did this? Who wrote this thing? Ah, come on, I'm giving you a good headline there. But it is a nice area. That's all I'm going to say. One, one and a quarter acre property asking price on is $5,000 with $99 down and $99 a month for 74 months. You got to learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 47050. We are done, 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 done with Colorado. Moving on to my home state of Florida. And not just that, we're moving on right off the bat to my favorite county in Florida. I'm going to tell you why. I mean, I talk about this. If you've been around this channel for a while, you know. You know, I have a favorite, a few favorite counties in Florida and other places, but here we go. Check this one out. Where is it? There it is. There you go. Charlotte County, Florida. Why do I love this area? Simple. It's simple. You're in between like, okay. So if you can imagine, I should have a map up because I love this county so much. They, they should put me on the tourism board for this county. The Listen, the county's not paying me anything. If they, if you're watching this county, call me up. But here's the thing: the reason I love this county so much is because of the fact of it's where it's located. Number one, it's located just south of Tampa by about an hour and a half. Okay, so Tampa's on the west coast of Florida, the Gulf of Mexico. You come down, you have basically the Tampa area. You have Sarasota, and then you have Charlotte County. Okay, Sarasota is like, you know, like just a, a beautiful spot. This county is right there. You got in this county, you got some great areas. One of my favorite areas is Boca, uh, Boca Grande for, for tarpon fishing. You got Gasparilla Island on the beach. These properties I'm showing you are there 30 minutes from the beach. You couldn't ask for a, a, a better, a better area in there. Beyond that, just to the south of you is Fort Myers and Naples. So you have just a beautiful area. You're right in the middle of it. And it's just extremely affordable, especially when you compare Tampa or Naples. You're right in the middle, right in the middle of it. So here we go. We're going to talk about my favorite county. Here we have a quarter acre property. Asking price on this one is, is uh, $17,950 with $750 down and $300 a month for 84 months. Learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 204192. And oh, by the way, by the way, Remember I told you earlier in the video, earlier tonight, I said, you're going to wish you had those Arkansas prices in Florida. I know. I warned you. I warned you. But this isn't Arkansas. It's not Arkansas. Here we go. Here we have another uh, quarter acre property. 18500 with seven fifty down and two ninety five a month. Uh, yeah, for 84 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 203-884. I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. This particular property is located on Chamberlain Boulevard, a very, very nice area. I've been to this property. 
In fact, I'm going to go back to this property because I'm going to be down in this area soon. I'll take some videos of it and we'll maybe put it on this channel or something. But yeah, we're going to have some fun in this area. I love this property. Reach out to Jamie. Again, I'll bring up the QR code again. Contact Jamie at elmoto.ws forward slash 203-884 and she will take care of you. Here we go. We're going to move on to another property here in uh, Charlotte County. And this particular property is, uh, well, it's a quarter acre property. Asking price on this one is $18,995 with $299 down and $295 a month for 84 months. Learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 201392. Going to Jackson County, Florida, that's northern, northern Florida. Okay, here we have a 1.14 acre property. Asking price on this one is uh, $10,999. With 250 down and 229 a month for 56 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 204415. And uh, let's keep moving on. Gonna keep on moving on. Here we go. We're going over to Marion County, Florida. Marion County is the Ocala area. Here we have a third of an acre. Asking price on this one is 18960 with 400 down and 290 a month for 64 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 199516. Going on over to Putnam County. Where's Putnam? Well, that's just near the St. Augustine area. It's on the east coast of Florida. Get out and fish on your corner acre lot. Notice the power in the area. Beautiful area. Almost a, almost a half an acre there. Asking price on this one is uh, 14999 with 899 down and three. 82 a month for 50 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 186339. Staying in Putnam, staying in old Putnam here, one acre property. This one's an asking price of 14,500 with 500 down and 256 a month for 60 months. You can head over to elmoto.ws forward slash 193554. And on to our next one. This one's a quarter acre buildable lot in uh, Putnam. Okay. Notice that it says that, uh, well, mobile home or two residential family lots are properties on here. Okay. Asking price on this one is $8,000 with 149 down and 149 a month for 54 months. Uh, head over here to elmoto.ws forward slash 204-395. All right, where are we going next? Well, we are actually done with Florida. We're done with my home state. So up next is going to be New Mexico. All right, so head over to New Mexico here. Here we go. We're going over to Luna. We have a half acre prop, half acre lot in Luna. This one asking price on this one is $12,000 with $59 down and $59 a month for 20 months. Learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 2004730. And check it out. Here we go. Moving on. Staying in Luna, I should say. Another half acre property. This one is $920. That's right. The entire lot is $920. Yep. No typo there. It's $920. Less than $1,000. With $59 down and $59 a month for 18 months. It's all yours. Check it out. Elmoto.ws forward slash 202-551. Okay. 1.15 acre property, also in Luna. Power nearby. You can see the power back there. Asking price on this one is $3,900 with 125 down and 125 a month for 42 months. Yeah. You can learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 200-589. Here we go. Half acre property. This half acre asking price on this one is $1,500, uh, $1, sorry, zero down, $75 a month for 20 months. Yeah, you can learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 203-964. All right, another one in Luna. Here we go. This one is Mr. Nunn. Mr. Nunn owns this, Matt Nunn. Asking price on this half acre property is another $999. It's $1,000 or $39 down. And $49 a month, $39 down, and $49 a month for 34 months. I'm laughing because the way it sounds is it rolls off my tongue. It sounds kind of 
weird how it's combining. So I wanted to slow it down and repeat it. Learn more about it by going over to elmoto.ws forward slash 198159. Oh, geez. 197158. I think I'm getting tired. Uh, it's getting late. Ah, here we go. Another property here in Luna. This one is another half acre property. This one, power is, is there. Mountain views. No zoning. It's unrestricted land. Half acre, five thousand dollars with one nine down and two hundred a month for thirty months. Yeah, you can learn more about it by going over to elmoto.ws forward slash two zero one one three five. Here we go. Now we have a one acre property, minutes from downtown Deming, New Mexico. One acre asking price on this one is twenty four hundred dollars with sixty nine dollars down and sixty nine dollars a month for forty two months. Yeah, check it out. Elmoto.ws forward slash Two zero four three nine eight. Going over to Torrance, New Mexico. Okay, here in Torrance, I'm not sure again why this one says zero down. It just does though. I'm sorry, zero zero for the acreage. I'm trying to pull it up here real fast to see what I can see on my end because I think that's just a typo. And yeah, okay. So look, I I want to do it justice, right? Because I'm not sure where that typo came from. But here we go. It's not zero acres. It's two acres. Here you go. Two acres. Here's the property, two acres, okay? Uh, so you can get more details. And yeah, you want interested in this one, click the green button. It says contact the seller. But meanwhile, it's asking price on it is $3,900 with $250 down and $150 a month for 30 months. Yeah, there you go. And look, it also says two acres right here in the picture. I didn't have to, I didn't have to go do all that work. It was already in the picture for me. Jeez. Elmoto.ws forward slash 178652. Okay, what do we got next here? What's coming up next? Oh, we're going over to Valencia, New Mexico. Here in Valencia, we're at a half acre property. Asking price on this one is uh, $18.99 with seven, $79 down and $79 a month for 28 months. Yeah, learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 196256. All right, here we go. El Moto. What is this one? This one is a two, 1.2 acre property. Asking price on this one is uh, $5,500. So it's $54.99 with $99 down and $150 a month for 36 months. I'm not sure why this thing says old error here. Um, let me see. Let me see what I can find. Uh, I see. The reason it says error there is because well, they gave us the land their their land moto landing page instead of the actual uh, instead of the actual property. So let's see if I can do this on the fly here. I'm gonna give this to you, and I'll share it with you over here. See, they gave us a bad link, is what it was. But to be fair, here we go. Here you go. It's elmoto.com forward slash properties. You can see it up there, and I'll read you the number. So it's going to be elmoto.ws forward slash 204060. And my team will try to make that update as soon as we can, if we can. But yeah, there you go. I wonder what happens. I wonder what happens though. Look, I'm going to try something here. I'm running a little long here, but I'm going to try something. I'm going to take out my phone and I'm going to scan in here. Uh, nope, that QR code doesn't work. I was hoping that the QR code would work, but it doesn't. <sighs> Nonetheless, it's all good because we're going to move on to our next property now. Ready? Here we go. Here's our next property. And this one is a 0.75 acre property. Asking price on this one is $4,100 with 100 down and 150 a month for 48 months. You can learn more about this one by heading over to elmoto.com. WS forward slash 202104. Here we go. Moving on. This is a 6.75 acre property. Asking price on this one is 10625 with 450 down and 275 a month for 37 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 195821. 195821. We are done with. New Mexico, and we're moving on to Nevada. Here we go. In Nevada, what do we got? 
Well, we're going over to Elko, Nevada, two acres. Asking price on this one is $89.99 with $299 down and $259 a month for 36 months. Ben can give you all the details over at elmoto.ws forward slash 198232. Staying in Elko, another two acre property. Asking price on this one is $7,500 with $349 down and $199 a month for 36 months. Yeah, you can learn more about this one by going over to elmoto.ws forward slash 198770. It's 198198770 and get all of the details. We have another 2.27 acre property also in Elko. Asking price on this one is $6,500 with $649 down and $269 a month for 22 months. You can get the details here by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 178970. Here's another 20 acre property now. Big lots, right? 20 acre property in Elko. I'm still here. I'm just looking at something. This is Sid. Sid's so got this 20 acre property. Asking price on this one is $61,000 with $1,000 down and $1,000 a month for 60 months. 20 acres, man. There you go. Elmoto.ws forward slash 203738 for all of the details. We are now done, done with Nevada. We're moving on to Oregon. Okay, so here we go. We're going to head over to Oregon next, see what's up in Oregon. Here we go. Asking price on this 2.3 acre property is $18,000. Okay, it's actually $17,647. Okay, $17,647. Four ninety nine dollars down and two eighty dollars a month for 72 months. You can learn more about this one by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 203-209 for the details. We only had one in Oregon, so our next stop is Texas. We have a couple here in Texas, so let's go see what we have in Texas. You kind of got a preview of it right there. Okay, this is a 12.5-acre uh, property. It's just west of Lubbock. There you go. 12.5 acres. Asking price on this one is $45,000 with $2,000 down and $779 a month for 72 months. There you go. Just outside of Lubbock, Texas. Learn more about it by going to elmoto.ws forward slash uh, 204428. One of my favorite counties in Texas is Hudspeth. Why Hudspeth? I don't know. I have some fond memories of driving through there, pulling off at Sierra Blanca, going to my little Mexican restaurant there. It's still there, by the way. I just looked at it the other day. I haven't been out there in a while. I need to go out there. But oh, the food was so good. So good. Beautiful area in there. Uh, yeah, check out this 20-acre property right here. 20 acres. The thing I love about this county is that there's no restrictions. You can build what you want to build on there. No government restrictions on it the way that it should be, I think. Here you go, 12,000, a 12 acre or 20 acres. Asking price on this one is $34,999. So just less, under $35,000 with $499 down and $288 a month for 120 months. Learn more about it by going over to elmoto.ws forward slash 202 898. Let's head over to Smith, Texas. We have a Smith, Texas property. This is going to be a buildable lot. Asking price on this one is going to be $6,000. Uh, this is my buddy Tate. You'll want to talk to Tate about this particular property. $6,000 uh, for this one. $125 a month and $125 down for 60 months. It's all yours. Again, contact Tate over at elmoto.ws forward slash 204096. Our very last property tonight before I talk to you about Tennessee. So I'm going to pull this up. Notice that Tennessee's got a big asterisk next to it. I'm going to talk about it when I get done with the next one. But the next one is, in fact, Washington. So let's talk about Washington here. Here we go. Here, here we have in Washington a quarter acre buildable lot. This one is asking price on this one is $108,000. It's got to be a nice property. I tell you what. But look at that, $1,000 down and 1729 a month for 120 months. You'll want to check this one out by going to elmoto.ws forward slash 196171. 196171. 
All right, what's that asterisk next to Tennessee? Well, you guys have been around for a while. You know that we have these uh, properties coming up in Tennessee. They will be released. We have word from the power company on their time horizon and everything. These properties will be released within the next few weeks. We're waiting just to finalize the pricing of it. But essentially, by I can guarantee you by the end of March, those Tennessee properties will in fact be released. So that's good news for those of you that are on the wait list. If you're like, what are you even talking about, man? No problem. I want to share this video with you. I'll share this video with you. Check out what we have in Tennessee coming. And then I'll be back with you shortly. I'll see you on the other side. Be right back. Hey, it's Scott Todd. I'm here in Perry County, Tennessee, and I uh, wanted to share with you guys this project, right? There's, there's um, in this first, first wave, we've acquired 21 properties. I'm walking here on the road. You can see that the roads have been, uh, you know, ni nicely installed here. These are five acre properties, anywhere from five to six acres, somewhere in that range surveyed so you know everything's been surveyed try not to try to talk and not fall at the same time so we have surveyed properties here no restrictions in terms of of use this is a fantastic county and uh you can see like you know there's there's uh 21 we have another i don't know 20 something coming as well so we got about 40 properties that we've secured here and probably more than that but just just an incredible, incredible area. If you look straight ahead, I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. It's kind of hard for me to see, but right up there, I'm gonna include some pictures here overlaying the video too, but right over here, you just see the, the contour of the land just going back up again, just beautiful. Now look, you, if you know me, you know, I'm from Florida and I always joke that the only mountain that's in Florida is Space Mountain, of course. And uh, you know, so when I see hills and mountains, I get a little excited. Now, this is, this is obviously, it's, it's green here, so guess what, it's the summertime. Um, you know, and what you'll notice is that there's, there's cut-ins on some of these properties, uh, cut-ins for, you know, roads or, or uh, other buildable areas. Hey, let's just go over here and let's look. Now, this would actually be on a particular property. And you can see that, depends on what you're trying to do, which of the four buckets you wanna be in. And we'll come down here. And I'll share with you just this, this, this magnificent view here. As I mentioned, all, all of these properties are in fact surveyed. Um, so the, the survey is already done for you. That's a, that's a big stumbling block for a lot of folks is to go and to get the surveys done. You can see right here, here's a survey stick. Wait, let's see what we have over here. Here we go, see, see right there, you got you got uh, survey markers in place right there. So all of the properties, again, are surveyed. Just look at this. Look at this view. This is just one of the streets. Now, one of the things that's really, really nice about this is that what, what they try to do is they try to put, um, the, one, they made sure that they had uh, turnarounds on all the properties. So some people like to call those uh, cul-de-sacs, turnarounds, whatever you want to call it. And like right down there, you'll notice that right down there we have a nice cul-de-sac view. We were out here earlier today, there was deer running around, just, just incredible, just incredible the wildlife up here. And again, I'm gonna walk right down here so you can see, and this is just one of the roads. So the, the dream, right? The dream is to be on a cul-de-sac. Well, guess what? Uh, you can have a cul-de-sac that's not in the neighborhood, in a neighborhood. another one of our survey markers right there. See it right there? Here, let's take a step up here. All right, here we go. There's one of our survey markers and nice buildable lot here. This project is called uh, Hurricane Creek. Um, basically, 
obviously to the east of us over here is the Buffalo River. And one of the, one of the creeks that, re, uh, that comes off of the Buffalo River is the Hurricane, uh, Hurricane Creek. I wanna show you what's ahead up here. I wanna show you this little area. And um, it's just, uh, of this entire area here, this is in fact one of my absolute favorite uh, little spots. I'm just gonna walk down to it. Look at this, this is, this is in fact, uh, this is one of my favorite spots of this entire thing. I want to share with you this picture right here. Let me let me take this picture right here. I want to show you this picture. This is this is one of just one of the cul-de-sacs in this area. Just incredible. Take a look at this picture. Isn't that isn't that just magnificent? This is not uh, this is not photoshopped. This is real, and this is a uh, real property that you can own. So look, I'm sure you have a lot of questions about this. This is what the team is here to help you with. As soon as we get more details, we'll be sharing them with you, but this is Hurricane Creek. Beautiful land, isn't it? I can't wait. That's coming by April 1st, so within a couple weeks. And uh, if you wanted more details, just follow what the video said. Email sales at landmoto.com. They'll put you on the wait list and uh, excited to, to actually have <coughs> bring those properties to you. And with that, I hope you found a land connection to light. Always enjoy spending time with you, and I'll see you guys back next Monday. Take care and good night.